if you want to know how I reinstall this yes nine month old bob wig from Amazon make sure you just keep watching this video What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra. As you are about to title, I'm going to be showing y'all how I reinstall my nine month Amazon wig. This wig did go viral on my channel. I do appreciate all the love and support that I got from that video. I thought I would reinstall it because a lot of y'all was wanting an update. A lot of y'all was wanting to see how the hair has been holding up and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So this was the hair freshly washed when I initially installed it the first time. Um, I actually installed this hair twice. Y'all are going to see the process of it all. But this was just all the customizing that I did on my mannequin. I like to do most of my work on my mannequin before installing it. It just makes it easier. And then I did go in with a little lace tint spray. I'm putting some of that wax stick on the front of the hairline. Because I really didn't do that on my mannequin head, which I usually do. And I usually don't pluck the hair on myself. I usually do that on my mannequin, but I didn't. So I'm just plucking the hair while it's on my head because when I first installed it, I wasn't, I didn't have as much practice as I do now um, with wigs and stuff like that. So I really didn't like pluck, pluck this wig. So I'm just doing that now. I've did most of the customizing on my head and I'm pretty okay with it. I'm going in with my got to be glued gel this time. Y'all, I honestly be switching up my installs. I was looking like that because um, I didn't clean my hairline. I forgot. But whatever. It's okay because we reinstalled this wig again anyway. But yeah, I like to switch up the way I install my wigs a lot. Lately, I just haven't been into the whole glue thing. I just been feeling my got to be glued and got to be glued gel. The spray and the gel because it's just easier and Especially when you don't want to keep your wig on for too long. So I think I did like two or three layers of the Got To Be Glue Gel. And I was kind of rushing y'all. So I think I said that later in the video that I was kind of rushing. So this initial install wasn't all that anyway. It's good that I reinstalled it. But I'm still showing y'all the entire process of me doing this. I didn't want to focus too much on the install process because this is kind of like an update. So yeah, I did want to kind of show y'all how I reinstalled it. But really give y'all an update on how the wig is doing and all that good stuff and all the details on how it's holding up nine months later so y'all stay tuned to see what I have to say about that but yeah now I'm just melting the lace into the gel and I'm just blow drying Now I'm going to be laying my elastic band on the wig so that it can melt a little further. And now while that's melting, I'm just going to go through with my flat irons. I had them on like 370. I love these flat irons. I always say that like in every video that I use them. But I'm just going through and pressing the hair out. I did give the bob like a slight little bump because I like that look. Nothing too major. But yeah, I'm just going through and pressing the hair out. Y'all look at it moving. Look at it moving. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. Hello. Period. I'm not even finished. Like I'm halfway in and she's giving what she needs to give. <laughs> this ain't my like best, best, best like application as far as how I laid that got to be glued. I don't know. In a rush. So <laughs> now I'm just going in with this little um, razor here. I really like these way better than eyebrow razors. That is like a dermaplan and I think razor or whatever it's called. I use it to shave my face and stuff like that. It's so sharp, love that. 
And now I'm going in with my foaming lotion, as you guys seen by Nairobi, y'all. I've had this for a while because I wanted to get into doing my, um, you know, edges, baby hairs or whatever with the foaming lotion because I love that soft baby hair look. But I remember I did it a few times. My lace was lifting, so I guess I just stopped. But now I'm coming back to try to try it again. And y'all, I loved how my freaking baby hairs, edges, whatever you want to call them, turned out using this foaming lotion. Um, I feel like the key is just... It's really all in the wrist and you don't have to be like, you know, too aggressive when you swooping them. You literally just, I don't know how to explain it. You just let your wrist kind of flow. And I worked kind of fast. Like I wasn't like super speedy, but I did work kind of fast. And um, once you lay it, like you lay a scarf on it or whatever and let it dry or sit under a hooded dryer or whatever, that is what makes it all dry up and your lace won't lift. And I was just showing y'all here, this is how the lace looked. Um, I wanted to include the clip because I think the lace on this wig is really good. I was kind of sleep on it back then, but this wig actually has some really, really bomb lace. And literally, I just did everything all over y'all that I just did in the beginning of this video because I told y'all I reinstalled this wig. It was about like, girl, like four or five days later, okay? I literally did the same thing. I just used my got to be glue spray instead of the gel to install the wig, but I didn't want to show the whole process over because y'all already seen it. So let's just get into this update, okay? All right, y'all. So it's actually a few days later, and I went ahead and reinstalled the wig and washed it because sis wasn't looking too hot, and yeah, it's been like a, it's been some days. So I went ahead and washed it and reinstalled it, and y'all, y'all, this is the same wig that y'all loved, and, and it went kind of viral here on YouTube. Um, eight months ago, y'all, eight freaking months ago. Eight months ago, I installed this wig, and I did not expect the video to do as good as it did, but you guys, she's still popping. Like, for the price, I definitely do recommend this hair. I had some nasty comments, some really, really, a lot, a lot of good comments, which I really appreciate. And, you know, the positivity always trumps negativity over here, babe. But what y'all have to understand is this is a $50 wig. I don't know how much it is now. Um... I should actually check because it's been a while since I actually like got this wig. This was actually, I'm sorry, nine months ago. Nine months ago, um, I installed this wig. That is crazy. I'm gonna click on the link to see like how much the hair is now, but I know it was like a little bit under $50. Or, oh, it's not available, I don't think. Or is it? I don't know, I'm not seeing a wig. I think it's like out of stock right now, maybe. They have it in like, they have like a 13 by six body weight, and then they have like a 13 by four. So yeah, the wig is actually out of stock, but I think it is, would still be around the same price. Um. So yes, y'all, I still love this hair. I like, nothing has changed, honestly. I washed it, y'all. I washed my, all of my wigs with my BioSilk shampoo and conditioner. And let me just say, Chef's freaking kiss. I love that combination. Um, any wig that I end up washing, it gets really, really silky with that shampoo and conditioner. So I definitely, definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. But yes, y'all. If the baby hairs look different, like I said, I reinstalled the wig and I did go ahead and lay them down with some foaming lotion actually, which I did kind of good. Like I ain't do too shabby. Um, I'm not used to like foaming lotion, so I'm learning. I love that soft um, baby hair look. But yeah, y'all, this is basically the update. Like I still like the hair. For what it's worth, it is worth it for like the money. For what you get, I'm not mad at the quality of this at all. And a lot of y'all, I don't know if y'all thought the wig came that way, but I clearly mentioned in the video that I went ahead and custom cut this wig because I hated the ends on this wig. I think it's supposed to be like 12 inches, but the ends were terrible. They were so thin. That is what made me cut the wig into a bob. So, yes, y'all, I love, love, love how this install came out. Your girl finally looking like some because for the last few days, this wig was looking a hot mess under my bonnet. But yes, y'all, this is the wig. Your girl's feeling herself with this little bob, okay? And I also have a video, y'all, on how I custom cut this wig. It was super easy, super simple. And your girl is not no hair, you know, hairstylist or anything like that. So if I could do it, you definitely can. But yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I don't know really what else to say. The hair is still good. And I finally, nine months later, am <laughs> reinstalling it. And yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure y'all drop them down below. Yes, you guys, this is this is the Bob wig. This is the Bob wig. Let me know how y'all feel in this install. Let me know what y'all think. Maybe get into the quality. 
But all right, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on all my socials. I always have them in my description box down below. I will also leave the link to this wig down below as well as um, the video of me initially installing this wig. And yes, y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. Stiff wear, babe. <laughs> uh -huh.